Hey guys, it's Neil from Skullbusters, and what we're going to do today is uh, show you how to unlock the dog tag, a beginning Easter egg dog tag. So if you load up an empty server, make sure it's on Conquest. I chose Suez. You'll need to locate some uh, headsets. Then take yourself over to the secret MCOM. Uh, there you'll record your unique uh, Morse code. Uh, so it won't be the same as mine. It's unique to each individual player. So what you need to do is probably record, I'd say, about the first minute to two minutes of that message of that Morse code because it just repeats and then you only need to decrypt the location forget about the rest of the message it's because the message is same for everyone else you just need to get the the location once you've done that you can keep moving forward with it there's plenty of audio editing software out there uh, Sony Vegas Movie Maker but there's a free one called Audacity um, a lot of people use this one you've just got to run your recording uh, through a couple of filters making sure it's on mono uh, normalizer stuff like that so that then you can zoom in to the actual sound wave and you're able to see the dots and the dashes and that's how you can read the Morse code if you're struggling to decode your own uh, Morse code or you don't have the means to do it I'd suggest signing up to the Battlefield 1 Discord um, server um, it's the Easter Egg community um, I, honestly you need to sign up to this anyway because there's loads of people on here that'll just help you out if, if you just write record it put it on YouTube give the link to somebody someone will decrypt the message for you um, they are really fantastic guys really I've posted a couple of messages personally on there and they help me out so by all means that do that without a doubt there's loads of guides loads of help any questions they're the people to go to and obviously they're the people that came up with this um, there's another website uh, which is this one here um, wiki game detectives uh, for battlefield one and it's like a walkthrough basically so it helps you to decrypt um, your Morse code so it'll tell you all the locations to the headsets on the, each base maps where the MCOMs are um, it'll give you the full list of all the uh, possible locations and it tells you where to go um, it'll segregate them into each map for you which is really good I used this when I was doing my video um, it helped me out massively this website um, it tells you which ciphers to use in which stage the things to look out for when you are you know running through your Morse code um, yeah honestly just keep this handy with you as well this will help massively it gives all the links to the ciphers uh, tells you what symbols to look out for um, but yeah brilliant website that's what to use as well final thing to mention is uh, this website Morse Code Translator? You'll be using this quite a lot to be honest if you're uh, decoding your own Morse code. Um, just thought I'd let you know about this one. Okay, let's run you through my Morse code and it can give you an idea. So, my message turned out to be Hill Barn Adriatic Empire's Edge. So, like I say, use that guide.website and it gives you the location. You've got to interact with these things and you've got to wait for the, the noise and then you know that you've done it. You, you hear the noise. That little noise then, you've got to make sure you hear that. It's important that you do because you won't be able to proceed. So it's just a matter of repeating again now. So once you've got your noise and you've interacted, headset, secret MCOM. I've chose different lo um, different maps so you can see different locations of MCOMs and headsets um, there's a few issues with them sometimes with the headsets they weren't spawning but um, I got told ballroom is a decent one to use so again my Morse code for this one was ballroom map and it was in the corridors 
next to the statue, I had to blow uh, these boxes up so I can get to it. Again, this won't be the same for you. You, you might pick one or two up like I've done. Um, I helped a guy out the other day and yeah, he had a couple that I had. So again, you've got to interact with it. And you've got to wait for that noise. See, if you hear that. So once you've heard that, again, it's a bit repetitive, but you've got to keep doing it. Headsets. CKM comp. Record it. Stove turret. Venetian. Mont Grapper. So this is in one of the bunkers at the back of there. Uh, on the German side. So again, I blew some like boxes up which was in the way. And again, you see the little symbols. The symbols change every time as well. That's another thing to note. Sometimes, I think some people said that if you just aim at it, it'll make the noise. That, that didn't work for me. Uh, sometimes it did, sometimes it didn't. I found it by hitting it, it worked. Um, but that knife didn't work for some reason. So I changed to the repair tool. And that worked. There you go. So same again. Headset. New Morse code. You notice the lights keep changing as well. So this one was Tree Train, Apparant, which is Argon Forest. And you're probably familiar with this one. The train in the middle of the map. And it was right at the bottom. Which was a little bit hard to see to be honest. So the icons are kind of clues, if you if you was wondering why, to the next um, Morse code of how to unlock it. So that was a ring fence, sorry for that one. So again, new Morse code, gives you the location and the map, you got to work it out. Like I say, you want to check out the uh, Battlefield Easter Egg Discord community sign up to them because honestly you, you get so much information out of there even if you just require a bit of help or you're unsure about doing something just sign up to it honestly so again that was a bit hidden away so again repeat headsets Morse code new map Palo Water Apple Argon Forest again so this is in the bunker bit with the three blue doors. Again, you have to shoot some boxes to get to clear it. I'll even help you in the soft shine. And then it's headsets again, Morse code again. Like I say, if you can drop us some comments in the comment section, and we can try and help you the best we can. We're always happy to do that. Done it a couple of times. Um, I'm always happy to help on the Easter eggs. It's definitely worth it for the uh, the gun at the end. So this one was a little bit difficult to see at first, but yeah, it's, it is there. It's hidden here. So again, you got to go and get the headset. And your mouse code. And we're close now. We're getting near to the end. Say Quinton Scar. Some of them are dead easy to find as well, which is always good. It's good just to load in, get get your get these, and then get back on the uh, Morse code again. Like I say, you got to make sure you hear that noise. There it is. And then, headsets. Morse code. So this, this last one is the same for everyone. So you don't need to crack it. This is where you need to go. Giant Shadow. 
Jock load on the German side. If you come back to the main point, that windmill, go right to the top. Wait for about two minutes. You'll see a load of pigeons flying above you. And after about two minutes, one will fly down to you and drop off the dog tag. And you've got to hear that noise again. It's important that you get that because if you don't get it, you don't get the dog tag. So let's check and see that we got it. And we do. Our beginning. It's a um, nice little dog tag. So what happens now? You go into the next dog tag. I suggest you go and take yourself and get yourself some headsets and find out what the uh, secret AMCOM is going to give you. Some sinister music there. And the, the Morse code. It's, uh, sounds very spooky this. Uh, the Morse code decrypts saying Masterman Masterman, Masterman, Masterman. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us the thumbs up. And leave any comments, happy to help, like I say. See you next time guys.